Okay, so now we need to use it. Okay, so first of all, let's open up uh, one animation, right? Okay, so I have this one queued up. It's one of our characters. Uh, it's a scene, which is uh, one of our game's cutscenes. It's um, animated. Everything here is animated. Um, we have the game is running. Not not the game, sorry. The animation has a reference. It's importing from another file. Uh, and we need to export this uh, to Unity, this which is the engine that we use. It's very simple. First of all, let's click on the, the export button. We have our naming convention, which, it take, which we take from Unity, which is like character. This, the name of this character is Q, and this animation is chapter four, cutscene, right? So here, the file that's going to generate is going to have this uh, naming convention. And we need to select uh, a directory, which we're going to put it on the same one as this file, the Maya file. So we're going to export the timeline range, this, all these um, this frames. Uh, we're going to select all meshes. And let's bake just to see what it does. OK, so it baked everything, but what did it do? If you open up the folder, you're going to see that um, the exporter created two files, this underscore baked and this uh, FBX. So if I open the FBX, let's import it. You're going to notice um, a bunch of things. Um, everything is baked. The animations are all here. It has imported the references. It has cleared up all the um, the namespaces. Um, all the joints have animations, and also all the meshes have baked animations on visibility. So if you wanna um, if you wanna have animations for visibility, you can do that and export using our exporter. Um, everything is set up. Because I choose to export all meshes, I have all the static meshes. Um, but it deleted all the, the noise that we have here. It deleted all the um, control curves that we didn't need. It deleted all the, the, the other configurations, the character, um, uh, the character set uh, that we didn't need. So this is basically ready to be imported but only if you want the um, environment alongside your main character, which usually usually we don't want. Um, so how do we deal with that? But first, I'm going to show you um, this other file right here. What does it do? OK, so I'm on the um, baked file right here that I just opened. Um, so what's the difference? Basically, uh, it's the same thing as the uh, uh, as the FBX. What happens is that this uh, workflow is destructive because it has to import everything, it has to delete all the curves, it has to bake everything. So in order for you to not lose any work, uh, what our exporter does is that, is, jet, is that it saves an underscore baked file. Uh, and in that, it has everything that it did. So it deleted everything and it's all saved up here. And if you want to like edit something, you can always uh, go here and like mess up some curves, delete stuff, uh, come here, add a new uh, animation, and you can like do stuff, right? Um, if you want to quick edit something without having the hassle, uh, then you can export, just like a normal export. Uh, d don't need to use BitK exporter, but anyways, it's just it's just so it saves a backup and you don't lose any work um, because of the destructive nature of the workflow. OK, so when you install Bitcake Game Exporter, um, it actually installed two icons, the Game Export and the Quick Export. What the, kick, the Quick Export does is that um, after you've uh, inputted all your uh, configurations here, uh, the timeline range, everything, uh, what it does is that when you press quick export, it's going to get all this and export it automatically. 
So ju you don't need to like do two clicks. You can just click this once. Yep, super quick. <laughs> 